What is the best advice for choosing the right assisted living home? Uh, we have a very special guest, Miriam Bogard. Please take your time to introduce yourself oh. and to educate us. Thank you, Joseph, for Thank having you. us. Thank you. Um, so I'm Marion Bogard. I own the Assisted Living Locators East Columbus, Ohio franchise, and we are in our sixth year of business. And honestly, um, all the time, families come to me and say, which community would I pick for, um, for them? And it's really not about me. It's about what their loved one um, needs and also what they as a family, um, what community resonates with them. I often refer to it as like, you know, picking a college campus, um, you know, with my own daughters. You know, when my um, daughter walked onto her college choice, it was love at first sight. And that really is part of it because it does boil down to what is the culture within the community, mm -hmm. um, what do they see that resonates with their loved one, and of course it is the quality of care. So we do talk about and ask extensive questions in our touring process mm -hmm. of um, you know, making sure that the needs of their loved one is met with the care that is provided by the community. Mm -hmm. But oftentimes beyond that, it is about personal preference and nobody knows them more than their loved one. Mm -hmm. That was helpful because you mentioned on the one hand, quality of care, mm -hmm. which is, that's where we can help. Right. But then it's that, I, I don't want to say smell test or gut check, mm -hmm. where someone just gets the right they feel the culture sure. and the mood. So you got to trust them mm -hmm. to make the decision. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. um, I have a, a family I'm working with right now that mm -hmm. uh, he's, a, he's a lover of woodworking. And so there's only a couple communities that really resonate with woodworking within them. Right. And um, we took them and toured them, but it has to be a choice for them. Good. If that is something that is, um, you know, in the community, but it compromises the quality of care, that might may not be the right, right. the right fit community for them. Right, right. So it just depends on, you know, what the family feels is the best choice. And it's really not up to me. I like to try to point out the pros and cons yeah. of each community, um, yeah. but it's really ultimately up to the family to decide. That's helpful. Um, what about, because I've, I've had clients who they keep saying, come on, Joe, if it was your own mom, right. if it was your own dad, just tell yeah. me, just tell me. So how do you have that? How do you convince them that they need to decide and they need to go? And yeah, that? well, that's a good question. Um, yeah. You know, they, they do kind of lean on us a lot as advisors and really we're here as professionals to help them identify and understand the pros and the cons of each community and what care um, what the care levels are and also predicting you know somewhat of the future as to you know what can they count on that could be covered in care going forward in the aging process but ultimately you know it is the gut check of the family to know and identify their own loved one and where they see them yeah. thriving the best yeah. and I, I know you've helped many families and would you feel comfortable sharing like when you possibly watched family a family make a mistake or you really protected them from making a mistake yeah are, are yeah i'm working with a family that? right now where um it was a crisis situation in 2021 that she came to me and we placed her mom and between 2021 and today she took her mom out of the community that we selected for her and moved her to another community on her own and now she's coming back to me in 2024 because her decision and not doing it with me in moving her her mom to another community um, based on an enticement that the community offered her was not the right choice. And so now she's coming back to us and we're working through the process again, validating what communities are ideal for her mom and her needs medically and financially. That's helpful. So, I mean, I would imagine what enticed them was just a a financial incentive, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. But then they learned it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because they didn't have an advisor there on right. that move to ask the right questions right. and to look farther down the line with yeah. the care that was needed for her mom. Yeah, great. Uh, that was really good advice. Um, yeah. Thanks for your time. Thanks Thank for your you. help. Thank you. Thank you for watching and please press subscribe and the bell notification and hope to see you in the next video.